When it comes to adding audio transitions into DaVinci Resolve, I really hope that you're still not clicking and dragging on your timeline, stretching it out, doing all those things. There's such an easier way to do it. I'm gonna show you how to add audio transitions to not only one or two clips, but to as many clips as you want and how to change the duration of that crossfade. I do this for almost all of my work when it comes to interviews and documentaries, when it comes to dialogue specifically. And yeah, let's just make this easier for you. I got some chai tea here. Let's jump into Resolve. So I'm just working on a video that I'd already posted to YouTube a while ago. And as you can see in between each clip, we do not have any transitions added. So we wanna add transitions to not only one clip or two clips like we could with just clicking and dragging over, we want to add it to all of the clips because I want to fix those little pops and hisses that can happen in between talking head and uh, quick cuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of our clips, the ones that I want the auto transition added to, which obviously isn't music, it's typically dialogue. And I'm going to press Command T. Now if we zoom in here, we're going to see we have the crossfade on our audio. We also have a cross dissolve added to our video, but we now have an audio transition added to every single one of our audio clips. Great, success, that's good. Now, if that didn't work, Command T wasn't the shortcut for you. Go up to DaVinci Resolve, hit Keyboard Customization, click that search bar, and we're gonna search up Add Transition. Under Timeline, you're going to see Add Transition, and whatever that hot key is going to be, for me, it is Command T. For you or PC users, you'll be able to find it there which is good, we now know the hotkey and we can apply it to our audio clips. The problem is, is that it is also applying it to our video, which I do not want. So let's command Z out of there, get rid of that. Now the easiest way I found to de-link your video and your audio clips is to select all the clips you want changed, command L once, which links them all together, command L one more time, will then de-link everything. So we now have all of our audio and all of our video changed separately, great. So if we select all those again, command T, we now, only have the auto transitions added to our audio clips. Great, success, that is awesome. Now, the two last things we need to cover to have a full understanding of how to apply this to our work is how to change that default transition and how to change the duration of that transition. So, to change the default transition, if you click effects if it's not open and go to audio transitions, you see three options here. You see the little red marker up by crossfade zero dB? That is what is set to as our default transition. So if you wanna change that, we're gonna right click a different one and set as standard transition. You see how that red thing, little block moved? Great, that is our new standard set transition. However, that does not change what's already been done in your timeline. So you have to redo some of that work. But we like having it set to zero dB, so we're gonna leave it at that. So what's up next is how to change the duration of that transition because when it gets kind of long, you kind of hear the dips and lows as it goes in between the transition. We want this to solve the immediate quick changes of audio so it's clean and crisp to our ears. So again, click DaVinci Resolve. We're gonna hit Preferences. We're then gonna click User and down to Editing. Where you see standard transition duration is where we got to change our duration of our any of our basic default transitions, whether it's video or audio. We're gonna change that to about two frames and hit Save. Now again, we'll not update your timeline, so we're gonna Command Z to change, to undo what we had done. Select all one more time, Command T, which you'll get used to, and if we zoom all the way in, we see the quick audio transition has been added. It's that simple, it's that easy. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them down below, whether it's, hey, how does this work, or things on DaVinci Resolve, I love to respond to you all. I love having a little community where we get to chat about Resolve and video and all those kind of things, something I really, really enjoy. Hey, stay hydrated out there. Hope this helps in a new project that you're working on right away. Helps with dialogue so much. I apply this to every single video I work on, specifically when it comes to talking head and dialogue like this. So I highly encourage you to use this right away. And that's it. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay hydrated. I'm gonna be sipping some tea. I'll see you all in the next video. Chai tea really hits the spot, really hits the spot.